canción voy a cantaros y os ruego que, las que los que lo conozcáis cantéis conmigo Las nanas de la cebolla de Miguel Hernández eh, que como os decía creo que hay poquitos poquitos eh, poemas tan potentes tan potentes como ese Nanas de la cebolla, you know, Nana is the song for babies or children, as I said before. Oops. And probably uh, you know that uh, the poet, only 31, he fought against Franco's coup d'etat and during the Civil War, and he became commissaire, whatever that meant, cultural, cultural commissaire for uh, the Quinto Regimiento. When the, the, the war ended and Franco army got the victory and put on as many as they could uh, opponents, uh, people who had defended the, the Republic, put them in prison. Miguel Hernández went to prison as well. He was arrested, he was put in prison, condemned to death, stayed uh, during eight months condemned to death, not knowing which night he could be killed or whatever, same as many others. In the end he was acquitted, he changed uh, the, um, con the condemnation to death by uh, leaving prison, leaving uh, sentence, and only with 31 in one of those in Alicante prison died of um, not starvation but uh, consumption and typhus and you know while he was there, he wrote a poem, this poem, to his son, second son, who was born the first one, uh, was born during the war and died eight months after his birthday, his birth, and the second one um, came, after, came to the world later on and he survived his father, and he has died a few, a few years ago. And he wrote Nanas de la Cebolla, which is um, it's much longer than, than what it is here. Now I have to say that the music was composed by Alberto Cortés, an Argentinian um, poet and songwriter and singer. And he led um, uh, José Manuel, uh, Jean Manuel Serrat to sing this song. And Juan Manuel Serrat made it famous and um, and uh, through that, through his version, um, virtually everybody knows that. After, just after the war, there was uh, a famine in Spain, a tremendous famine. Uh, people had very little to eat. And he said uh, in the poem, uh, he said that his wife came into prison to show him the baby just born. The wife said to him, I have nothing but onions, cebolla is onions, to feed, to eat myself, and through it, through, his, through her breast, feed the, the baby. That's why nanas de la cebolla. So the poet um, makes like an image of the cebolla, and it's a wonderful, wonderful poem. And if you haven't written uh, and you have the chance of write, I mean, read, read this poem and many others from, from Miguel Hernández, you will uh, probably um, agree with me that he's one of the biggest po uh, poets in the Spanish, in the whole Spanish literature. Anyway, this is the Nanas de la Cebolla. <laughs> Cebolla se escarcha, cerrada y pobre, escarcha de tus días y de mis noches, hambre y cebolla, hielo negro y escarcha, grande y redonda, en la cuna del hambre mi niño está. Con sangre de cebolla se amamantaba, pero tu sangre 
escarchada de azúcar cebolla y hambre una mujer morena resuelta en luna se derrama y lo hilo sobre la cura ríete niño que te traigo la luna cuando es preciso tu risa me hace libre me pone alas soledades me quita cárcel me arranca boca que vuela Corazón que en tus labios relampaguea Es tu risa la espada más victoriosa Vencedor de las flores y las alondras Rival del sol por venir de mis huesos y de mi amor desperté de ser niño nunca despierte triste llevo la boca ríete siempre siempre en la cuna defendiendo la risa pluma por pluma Al octavo me esfríes con cinco azares, con cinco diminutas ferocidades, con cinco dientes, como cinco jazmines adolescentes, frontera de los besos serán mañana cuando en la dentadura sientas un arma sientas un fuego correr dientes abajo buscando el centro o el anillo en la doble luna del pecho el triste de cebolla, tu satisfecho, no te derrumbes, no sepas lo que pasa, ni lo que ocurre.